Hello and welcome to my little Mortal Kombat collection. We are starting um, with part one. This is the Master System. This is the Mega Drive version. The Mega Drive version is for only uncensored version of this game uh, but you have to use a cheat code to enable the blood uh, so um, it's not so uncensored uh, but it has a lot had some difference uh, I think even in, in music difference to the, to the arcade version um, this is the TV games Mortal Kombat 1 stick this is the Super Nintendo version. Really strange censored fatalities. Um, maybe just interesting for curiosity. Um, this is the uh, arcade version for the Amiga on two disc. This is the cover. If it's a wrong page, this is Mortal Kombat 1 for the PC. This came on um, free disc, but I'm too lazy to put it out. These are just the movies. Moving to Mortal Kombat 2! <laughs> what a surprise! Mortal Kombat 2. Maybe the best known Mortal Kombat till today. This is the PC version. And this is the famous Super Nintendo version. Fully uncensored. Fully blood. Fully fatalities. Awesome game. Maybe the best of a series. Next installment. You guessed it, it's part 3! This is the PC version, this is the Super Nintendo version. Mortal Kombat 3 is a little bit a strange thing. I know a lot of people um, didn't like this title. It's okay, but it's not really necessary for your collection. If you're a collector and if you're just an idiot like me, you need Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate. Um, it's an updated version of Mortal Kombat 3. It's not really special. It has a fatality show. Um, it's not a so decent game. It's maybe something like uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy for the Super Nintendo. And speaking of Trilogy, these are the both versions. This is the PlayStation 1 version. I'm gonna pit it up. It's not reflecting. Um, and this is the and 64 version. The difference of the both versions you have here a male chameleon, you have a female chameleon. The chameleon is a character um, who has the ability of all the ninjas. So here all the male ninjas and all here all the female ninjas. So on the Wii version of um, the Armageddon uh, you have also the female ninja, female chameleon. In uh, the standard PS2 versions, where is no female chameleon, just for good things. Coming to, you guessed it, part four. Now we are going 3D, and it's a strange thing. It's a neat game. It's it's going really basic, but it's not so great. I think. This is the PlayStation version, this is the N64 version, and if you are an idiot again, we have a Dreamcast version. This is an updated version of Mortal Kombat 4, it has some more characters. This is only for the Dreamcast. The next thing, speaking of strange things, you see it. This is Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero, N64, PS1. The PS1 version has this strange, um, not so great cinematics, um, but it has some interesting movies. It's a background story of Sub Zero. It's something like a, a mixture of jump and run, and um, and fighter. Maybe something a prequel to Shaolin monks, but it's also not my favorite Mortal Kombat. Speaking of not my favorite Mortal Kombat, is a Special Forces Mortal Kombat. Maybe the one. Maybe the worst game of a series. You don't need that. It's boring and not good. And if somebody, before we coming to the next generation, talking, hey, oh, that's a good gun. I shut up the violence. I need. I know what you need. And speaking of needs, 
And speaking of really needs, I got something for you. And speaking of you don't need violence, so you know Ninja Gaiden, but do you know what we have done with Ninja Gaiden? You know, where's Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive 2, Dead or Alive 3, nothing really special. Dead or Alive 4, and speaking of sex, Dead or Alive Extreme Volleyball. 1, 2, Paradise, and the movie. So if you are sick and tired of blood, Dead or Alive is a is a okay beat em up series, not the greatest thing on the planet, um, and it's very famous for its breast physics. So, if you need that, then go get it. So, speaking of go get it, we're coming to the next generation. First of all, we have this infamous Shaolin monks. It's really interesting if you are uh, if you get this version in Germany, it censored all the fatalities. And the fatalities were blacked out. So if you want to play it on a black screen, this is your typical blind let's play. <laughs> These are absolutely idiots. So skip it. Don't get the censored version. Of course. Now speaking, uh, put it in the right row. We're starting with Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Mortal Kombat Deception. Very good games. I um, enjoy those ones. They introduced the, the, the conquest mode, something like an RPG uh, action oriented uh, Mortal Kombat story mode. That's very good. It's very useful. Um, they continue in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, but Armageddon is something like a sequel to Trilogy. So it's not my typical favorite Mortal Kombat and it's um, even the story mode is a little bit boring. Speaking of boring, Mortal Kombat vs. DC looks great, but you can guess it, it's not a true Mortal Kombat. Uh, Batman uh, is not a friend of fatalities. Okay, he's not a friend of bees and rock and roll, but he is not a friend of fatalities. We changed a little bit. It's okay, uh, just as a collector you have to get it, it's not the greatest thing. It's not in the league um, of Marvel vs. Capcom. It's a little bit different. It's okay, but it's not so great. Speaking of greatness, the remake or the reboot of a series, this is an awesome game. This is one of the best games uh, 2011. And if you are a Mortal Kombat fan or skipped the series, this is your way to come back. This game is awesome, the best story mode of any fighting games till today. You need that. Simple and is it. If it's a question if it's the best game or is uh, MK2 even better, that's your dis discussion. Um, you can decide, but this is an awesome game. What was it for? This week, what's well, all folks, next week, more blood! No, since as you know, this is a kid's show. Um, so, next time, don't know what's coming, watch it, and we'll be all happy. See you next week.